Hello! Welcome to Tickled Tuesday. Today I'm going to share with you the things that I am tickled about, and that is one of my favorite things, the pick to, or take your pick tool, that's what it's called. I just call it the pick tool because it comes out easier for me. Anyway, um, this tool is like the Swiss Army knife of paper crafting, if I may say so. And um, today we're going to make a thank you card, and I'm going to show you how to do a lot of those, um, how, how to use that tool. The first thing that I did, I, I pre-cut and prepared some things ahead of time so that we don't uh, spend the whole video making everything, but th this will shorten it up. But I started with our stamp uh, cut and emboss folders, and uh, this has two folders in it. it. One looks like this, and the other one looks like this one. And I chose the bottom one. I think you can see kind of what that looks like and uh, you just stick your paper inside and then you run it through the cut and embossing machine. Now if you don't know anything about our stamp and cut and emboss machine you can go to my blog on creating cards with sherry uh, dot dot com, and I have you can click on the video uh, the video link and it will bring you to all the videos that I've made and just look up the Stampin' Up! Cut and Emboss Machine <clears throat> and it will share with you everything you need. So and then I took some, so I took our pale papaya paper and uh, put that through the machine. Then I took some of our designer series paper from our hand penned suite and I'm going to glue these two pieces together. This is our multi-purpose liquid glue. I've used it a lot, so it's gotten kind of dirty. I'm going to have to wash that off. And uh, I'm just going to glue the two of these together. I measured them and everything so that I know they will fit on my card perfectly when I get to putting the card together. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our soft succulent ribbon and I'm going to, um, first of all, I'm going to shorten it so it's not quite so long. And I'm going to line it up right here, turn it over, and I'm going to stick some glue on both sides. and then I'm going to glue these sides down. And this uh, we do to hide all our glue and where we place our ribbon. You'll see how that all works in a little bit. It's kind of fun. And it's sticking to my finger instead of the card. There we go. Then I just want to make sure that I have it on there straight. This side can come down just a little bit more. There we go. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue all over this. You don't need much glue with this. It sticks very well, and uh, it usually clears up pretty easily, too, so that you don't see it anywhere. Okay, and I'm going to take this on my card and I'm going to put it on the front half of it. Making sure I get everything right where I want it. And there we go. Okay. Now the next thing, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. The next thing that I did is I, um, let me see where did I put it, here we go. 
I took our contours and die set and I chose this to make my label and this again I put this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine and that made my label and I will show you what the label looks like in just a second you may have seen it maybe not I used um, our fresh freesia to stamp the sentiment on but this is what it looks like it's a really cute um, die and um, and makes a really cute label okay so now we're going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of the ways that this uh, pick tool works I'm going to get our gem set from the 2021-23 gems you can't order them right now they were so popular that they ran out and because of the shipping problems and stuff that have been going on they've been they were on back order for a while and then they finally said they're just not available because it was too difficult to get them so hopefully they'll come back soon because I really like them and I want another set or two anyway uh, this pick tool comes with different options for you to do work with this is a piece that has a, a pointy end and a flat end and when I remove these gems I use the flat end and the reason you want to do this yeah you can try and pick them off with your fingers I've done that before but they'll they'll stick to your finger they'll fall and go, go all over the place they're impossible to find again so it, you're just better off using the um, tool so I'm going to take this little green this soft succulent one that goes with the there we go with my ribbon and I'm going to put that down there and then since we're using the papaya I'm going to actually I think I'm, I'm going to be using it since no let's use the papaya change my mind sorry see they pop all over there we go we're going to put that right in this corner just move it to where I want there we go so that's how you can use the flat end of that pick tool all right then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use some dimensionals And I'm going to take some here. I've got some of my own hair <laughs> that is sticking everywhere. I can't seem to get it out of here. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it's driving me crazy. All right. Oh, there it is again. I think it's stuck to my hand. Yep. Okay, I think I finally got rid of it. All right, and then I'm going to take another one and I'm going to cut it in half because I don't really need two big ones, but I'm going to put one on each side this way. That one fell together a little crinkly because of the way it's stuck to my scissors, but it'll still work. All right, you can use the pointy end of the pick tool, like some people do, and they use that to get the paper off the top edge. And then that way you don't get your hands all sticky from that. going to do then is I'm going to take our card and what's going on with my color all of a sudden it got real dark Ugh. 
My computer just went out on me. I don't know why. Hello, hello, are you still there? <laughs> There you go. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. Okay. Um, so anyway, we're going to take our sentiment and we're going to put it right over here. I'm going to press it on all the ends where the dimensionals are so that it will stick right in place. Now the reason I put four of them on there, a lot of times the two on the ends would be just fine, but I know that they're going to lay on this ribbon and this ribbon isn't securely tight on here and I don't want it sliding all over the place so that's why I put the four dimensionals on it. Okay, <clears throat> then the other thing that this tool has is an end that has some putty on it and that putty helps you pick up small things like sequins that you can put on your card. Earlier I was working on a card that used these and boy did that thing come in handy because these are really hard to pick up with your fingers. They're so tiny. Alright, well today we're going to use some flowers. These are a little bigger but I'm still going to use the pick tool on them. And what I'm going to do first is decide kind of where I want to put my flowers and then I'm going to place them. Um, I think I'm going to put One here, one here, okay, and then I can start picking them up. Shake these up a little bit so I can see, it. well that didn't work much <laughs> in what I was trying to do. All right. And then I can just place it down there. Now my putty got a little long here, so I'm going to shorten it a little bit. Let's see, I'll bring these in a little bit so you can see this better. If I can pick this up again, I'm going to put it over here, and I'm going to put a pink one here. So that's how you can uh, decorate your card when you want to. I think I'm going to put one more, no maybe not. Leave well enough alone, right? <laughs> Okay, so that's how you use the putty end. It's to pick up all those little sequins and things that you use to put on your cards. Now to top this off, if I haven't lost my ribbon in the midst of everything, uh, I don't know what I did with it. When the lights went out, so did my ribbon. Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take some more of this soft succulent ribbon. A lot of people say, oh Sherry, I don't know how to tie a bow. Well, all you have to do is tie these on. You don't even have to make a real bow. You just tie these on like you would tie your shoestring. Pull it together. And then you just cut off the ends. And it looks real cute. So there you go. There we have our thank you card. I'm going to use my bone folder to crease this so that it stays in place. And I can stick it in an envelope and we're ready to go. So that's how easy it is to use the pick tool. 
or the Take Your Pick tool from Stampin' Up. And um, I hope you enjoyed my tickled piece today. And, uh, and uh, we'll see you again on Sunday. I'm going to, um, let's see, just put up my link here with all my addresses. There you will see my Stampin' Up shop, my email in case you want to get a hold of me for any questions or anything, and also for um, my blog spot, and, or my blog. And my blog will lead you to all my videos so that you can see what I've been up to in the last couple of months. Thanks again, have a great day, and we'll see you later.